Today we're going to be making a popular Goan fish curry, caldeen, or caldino as the Portuguese call it. This fish curry is mildly spiced with a hint of sweetness and tang, which makes it super delicious. Hi, you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To prepare our caldeen curry, we're going to be going in with pomfret and we're going to use 500 grams of pomfret, which I washed, packed dried and cut into thin slices. We're going to start by salting the fish. So we're just going to go in with about a teaspoon of salt here. And to that, we're going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Let's give this a mix so that all the slices get the salt and the turmeric powder on them. This is going to help to bring out the flavor of the fish. Caldine is popularly made with palm fruit, but it's also delicious with clams, shrimp or mixed vegetables. Now we're going to leave this aside so that the fish gets a chance to absorb the flavors. Now for that tangy flavor to the curry, we're going to go in with a tablespoon of tamarind, which is approximately about 15 grams, and we're going to add a quarter cup of hot water to it. This is going to help to soften the tamarind so that it becomes easier for us to extract the pulp. Just going to mash it down a little bit so that it becomes easier for the tamarind to soften up. Now let's leave this aside and grind up our curry paste. Caldeen is a very mildly spiced curry and to create our curry paste we're going to go in with one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon or 10 cloves, half a teaspoon or approximately 25 peppercorns and one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder and this is what is going to give the caldeen that lovely yellow color. Now to get that fine curry paste you know the drill. Let's grind up the dry ingredients into a fine powder. To the dry ingredients we're going to add in our wet ingredients and for some earthy flavors we're going to add six cloves of garlic. I'm just going to coarsely chop them before we add them to the jar. And we're going to add those in. And to that we're going to add approximately about an inch of ginger which we're going to coarsely chop. And we're going to add that to the jar as well. And for a hint of spice we're going to add a green chili. And since this is really huge I'm going in with just one or you could go in with two smaller ones. Now to get that lovely creamy base to our curry we're going to go in with one cup of freshly grated coconut. Before we bring this together, we're going to add one cup of water so that we get a smooth curry paste. We're going to switch on our mixer and bring this together to form our smooth curry paste. And this is what you're looking for. To get that silky smooth caldeen curry, we're now going to put this curry paste into a sieve and separate the coconut extract. To the jar, I'm just going to add half a cup of water and give it a swirl so that we pick up all that delicious curry paste that's left behind. And now we're going to add it to the sieve. And we're going to press this down so that we get all that coconut extract in the bowl. Putting a little pressure so that we extract all the flavors. And we're left with just the dry coconut in the sieve. Okay, now that we've got the thick coconut extract, we're going to keep this aside and we're going to add the dry coconut back into the jar add another cup of water to it and give it a mix and then we're going to extract the juice from this too. We've got all the coconut extract out and now it's time to discard this dry coconut. To bring the curry together to a heated pot we're going to add about three to four tablespoons of oil and now we're going to toss in half a red onion which we have finely diced and this is equal to about a cup. On a medium heat, we're going to saute the onions till they turn translucent. Once the onions have turned translucent, we're going to add in half a medium sized tomato which we have skinned and finely diced. We want just the flavor without seeing the tomato in our curry. We're going to continue sauteing this till the tomatoes get cooked and become soft. Now we're going to lower the heat and add in our coconut extract. And to that we're going to add in another cup of water. Now for that tangy flavor, we're going to add in two tablespoons of vinegar and the tamarind that we had kept to soak earlier. We're just going to go in with our fingers and take out the pulp and we're going to pass it through a sieve to separate the smooth extract. 
You could add in the tamarind while grinding your curry paste, but I prefer adding it directly into the curry. Now to balance the flavors, we're gonna go in with two teaspoons of sugar and we're gonna season it with one and a half teaspoon of salt. And on a medium low heat, we're gonna allow this to cook for about 10 minutes so that the spices get a chance to mingle, the curry thickens and the flavors develop. It's time to toss in the fish. Gently gonna place them in. And now we're gonna allow the fish to simmer on a medium low heat for about five minutes before we add in the coconut cream. To finish it off, we're gonna add one slit green chili. And since it's so huge, I'm going in with one. Otherwise, you could always add in two if they were smaller. And to that, we're gonna add one cup of coconut cream. And this is gonna give the Chaldean curry that lovely, luscious texture. Now we're gonna swirl it and cook it for just another three minutes. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now to plate it on a bed of hot rice, we're gonna spoon on some of that delicious Chaldean curry with a slice of pomfret. And to complement it, we're gonna add on some onion tomato salad. And now it's time to give the Chaldean curry a taste. Wow, I cannot wait. I'm gonna go in with some of that pomfret. Mm. Wow, this is so good. You've got to give it a try. And if you want to enjoy this as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.